In this demonstration, we're going to have a quick look around the NetBackup Administration Console, identifying the key sections and just having a look at the various areas and uses of, a, of the Administration Console. Once the Administration Console launches, in the main screen, if we select on the tree view the NetBackup Master Server host name, which is NBU Master Sol, on the right hand side we see a list of wizards which we can use to configure various options. Some of these wizards we'll use to configure areas of the application in future demonstrations. On the tree view, the second option is the Backup Archive and Restore utility. The Backup Archive and Restore utility is used for restoring files once they've been backed up. We will do a demonstration of restores later on in the, in the course. The Activity Monitor is the center of net backup activity and it's the first port of call in terms of troubleshooting issues. At the bottom of the screen on the right hand side we have the Jobs tab. In the Jobs tab, the details of each of the jobs are listed once they're running. We also have the daemons and the processes. The next section of the Administrative Console is the Net Backup Management section. When we highlight the Net Backup Management section, some individual wizards are shown on the right hand side. These wizards relate to the Net Backup Management section. The first area of the Net Backup Management section is the Reports tool. In the Reports section, we can run various reports for various pieces of information. If we expand the Reports section, we can see the three key sections of reports. There are common reports, such as status of backups, problems and all log entries. Some reports are specific to tapes or images on tape. And we have a list of those images on tape, tape contents and tape summary. Some reports are specific to disk, images on disk, disk logs, and disk pool status amongst others. And then we have the vault reports if we're running the vault option. Below that, we have the policy section. This is a section where we'll be creating all our backup policies and identifying the clients and backup selections for each of our policies. Below that, Below that we have the storage. The storage section is where all of our storage units, storage unit groups and storage lifecycle policies will be configured. Below the storage section we have the catalog option. In the catalog option we can verify, duplicate and import images as well as uh, identify or search for images to expire. Below the catalog option we have the host properties in the host properties, we can go and set or modify settings for each of the individual hosts within the Net Backup environment. In this environment, we have a single host, which is the master server. So we need to double click on the master servers and the host name of our master server will be listed here. Double clicking on the master server will open up the host properties window. In the host properties window, there are various sections on the left hand side that deal with areas of the application. The global attribute setting identifies global settings for the net backup environment such as the maximum number of backup copies, maximum jobs per individual client, also information such as the policy update interval which is the time taken between modifying a policy and that modified entry to be added into the new work list for the jobs that, that need to be running. In the universal settings we can set the restore retries we can also modify network interfaces to be used for the net backup application. In the retention period setting, we can have a look at the various retention periods, the default retention periods from 0 through to 9, as well as additional retention periods that we can create. We can also set data classifications and many other settings here. Below that we have the media and device management. In the media and device management section we have the configure storage devices, configure disk storage servers and disk pool and volumes wizards. The device monitor is the area of the application that we would use to monitor the locally configured tape drives. Below that we have the media section which we can expand and list media by individual volume pools as well as volume groups as well as media listed by the individual robots that are configured within the net backup environment. 
There will be further demonstrations about media later on in the course. Below that we have access management if you have net backup access control configured, vault management if we're using the vault option, and bare metal restore management if we're using the bare metal restore option. This concludes the look around the administration console demonstration.